Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? So today our starting point is at Shinagawa Station. We are at Shinagawa Station on the Yamanote line. When I first moved here to Tokyo, this is actually where I live. Well, to be precise, I live uh, a, like maybe 20 minute walking distance from here. Uh, Sengakuji Station was where I lived, but I had to come all the way here to do my shopping. Um, yeah, but these days I don't really hang around this area anymore, but it's a great place. And um, the Shinkansen bullet train uh, makes a stop here as well. There are a, a few uh, hotels around this area and many businessmen, business people used to stay here, obviously before the pandemic. But anyway, I thought I'd show you guys around this area. So we just left uh, Shinagawa Station. And uh, not only does the JR line uh, pass by here, but also the KQ line makes a stop here as well. So right across from the station, oh, there's a plane. There's a plane up in the air. Oh, it's gone. Uh, right across the, the station is Wing Takanawa. It's a shopping complex, and they have a lot of uh, uh, restaurants and shops and cafes. Do you remember Anna Miller's? Used to be very famous in the 80s, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one of the few places where you could actually get like an American pie um, at Anna Miller's. But anyway, um, we're gonna walk this way. This way. Come with me, guys. So we make a left here at the station. It looks like there's nothing, you know, if you go this way, but it's not true. It's not true. I'll show you guys um, something interesting. Especially for those of you who like ramen, like, uh, like uh, our friend um, Benno who lives in Amsterdam. I know you love ramen. And this place actually has a ramen street. Look, actually we'll check this out later. But I didn't even notice that there was a little shrine there across the street. I've never seen that before. This is a typical bus stop here, a city bus stop. Across the street is another famous restaurant called Tsubame Guriru. They've been doing um, business since 1930 and they serve uh, yoshoku or Japanese style Western food. And they do it really well. I think the last time I was here was, gosh, I, I gotta say maybe three years ago. So I'm just assuming that the ramen street still exists. I hope so. I really do. So as you can see, this street is pretty nondescript. Nothing really interesting to see here. Because uh, although there are many hotels down here, it is mostly a uh, residential slash business area. Is that Ramen Street? It should be coming up on my left very shortly. I hope it's still here. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh guys, no, 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 no. So this was the Ramen Street here. You see, but it's, it's kind of- Closed because of the, the construction. Construction, they're doing construction. Yeah. Oh. Permanent uh, it's closed permanently closed oh gosh okay so the ramen street is permanently closed look this is what it used to look like this place becomes station okay so they're they're making this into a station a train station oh that's sad so sorry guys i thought i just assumed that this place is open did you know this place was closed uh, i remember now you remember now really you didn't remember until just now <laughs> oh, that's too bad. See, look at that. They had a whole street of uh, ramen shops here. I think there was at least um, eight of them. Well, what can you do? <laughs> All right. Standing here on this street, brings back so many memories for me so so many memories um 
Let's see, is that the Shinagawa Prince Hotel? It is, right? So, I'm not sure if that's the one. It might be the one next to it, but my sister and I, including all my cousins from Los Angeles, we all stayed here when we were kids, like um, while we were teenagers. And we came here to celebrate my grandfather's birthday. Uh, it was a big thing, and uh, so they called all the, uh, the kids from all over the world to celebrate his birthday, and, and we stayed here in Shinagawa. So that was my first, um, I guess, taste of Shinagawa. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, um, this was the first place I lived when I came back to Tokyo because my father used to live nearby and I guess he wanted me to get an apartment near nearby where he lives so yeah this is kind of my area here this is a glimpse of the skyscrapers of the Shinagawa area because this is sort of like a business district here's a grocery store here I, I remember there being a Toki store on the other side of the street Hmm. The cakey store is located under the feet. Oh, right. The cakey store? Okay. So there. Oh, look. You guys see the airplane? You know, this is um actually very special for us. Because it's only until recently that we had no planes flying above Tokyo, they weren't allowed to fly. But now they can. That's Japan Airlines. As you can see, it's something that Satoshi really enjoys doing. He loves checking out the airplane. Look, it, it looks so low. Wow. Nice photo spot. A nice photo spot. That's actually a great photo spot. It looks very near. <laughs> yeah. Satoshi really likes planes and trains. You see the sign? Oh! Is this closed? Shinagawa Prince Hotel. No. No? It's open? Okay. It's used for another purpose. It's used for the, uh, the coronavirus patients. Ah, okay. So here in Japan, we, we do have some hotels that they are using not for customers, but they're using for those who tested positive for coronavirus. Um, that way, you don't have to use up the bed in the hospital. Um, th these are these are those people who are tested positive, but um, they don't have any serious conditions. So this is a Tsubame Grill, the place I was ta talking about since 1930. And uh, this is the kind of food that they have. They have like Japanese hamburger steak and uh, you know doria and stuff like that and uh, stuffed cabbage. Really tasty food. Okay, let's continue this walk. Wow. That's why, that's why the front of this um, hotel is boarded up. I was wondering why. Interesting. So, um, as I usually ask on these walks, how are you guys doing today? How is your day? What's the weather like? Is it hot? I know some places in the world, it is winter now. Oh! <laughs> Look, Satoshi's looking up again. Another plane. Another plane. You guys see the plane? That's another Japan Airlines aircraft. Okay, so check it out. Here's a shrine here. The shrine that we saw from across the street. I had no idea there was a shrine here. Let's take a closer look. This is in the middle of the city. It's nice, isn't it? So this is where you would uh, rinse your hand to purify before you pray. And this is where you would ring the bell and you would uh, pray here. Nice. How nice. That's sweet. All right. You're really enjoying watching the airplanes, huh? <laughs> Both of them were Japan Airlines. 
<laughs> you love public transportation. <laughs> okay, do you like buses too? Mm -hmm. He likes buses too, okay. Alright, so uh, we're gonna continue uh, this walk around this area. This area is called Shinagawa, but it's also called uh, Takanawa. Um, also, um, do you guys know the story about the uh, 47 Doni? I think it's 47, but nearby here uh, you can see uh, the, the statues of the Lonin um, nearby at a temple and if you guys are interested in that I'll take you guys there next time let me know in the comments below if that's something that's interesting to you and this McDonald's gives me a lot of uh, memories as well I remember coming here with my sister and she was trying to order in English <laughs> and they couldn't understand and she was like why don't they understand English McDonald's is American yeah, she was she was definitely a typical um, American back then. Another airplane, and that's uh, Adam Miller's on the second floor. They have great pies. Mango Tree Cafe here has amazing Thai food at reasonable prices, and across the street there's actually Singaporean food. But we'll we'll actually walk up here. Singaporean friends, we have a Singapore Seafood Republic here right in the middle of um, Shinagawa. Actually, I've never been here. I would love to check it out one day. Um, they are famous for their Singaporean chili crab. Very, very curious to try it out. Very curious. Okay. And behind the trees is another hotel. It's called the Shinagawa Goose Hotel. And then on the first floor of that hotel is TGI Fridays. One of, one of the things that I remember about TGI Fridays when I lived in Hawaii, you mind if I get out of the sun, it's so hot, is my mother used to love the, uh, the potato skins from TGI Fridays. Unfortunate here in Japan, I think they still have it, but it's not the same. It, it was much better in America. I think they, they, they make it with less fillings or something here, so it's kind of boring. But anyway, if you keep walking up there, um, you'll see, uh, I don't know, what's up here? Then Okay, all right, so I'll go up here and it's just another hotel. So we're gonna go back down here. Alright. So I want to take you guys on a quick walk through the mall. It's, it's, it's just a small mall. There are three floors, but most of them are clothing. And then we're going to walk through the station. And we're going to go to the other side of the station. Yes. So I want to go inside, take you guys through that uh, mall called Takanawa Wing. So in here are all the boutiques. They have three floors of, uh, sorry, two floors of shopping. And the basement floor is mostly food here. It's mostly food. That's a uh, Anna Miller's. Oh, this is nice. Uh, this actually used to be um, part of the cafe, but now they're using this as the free space. So you can you can just uh, use uh, these tables here and enjoy whatever food you bought from any of these places or even the convenience store. Check out the fake pizza. <laughs> okay. So there are some things back here as well. This is a Shinagawa Prince Hotel number two. And there is also an um, aquarium here. If you go this way to the left, there is a bowling center, bowling alley towards that way. So many airplanes. That's A&A. A and 
Okay, this way is the aquarium. Yeah, they have a movie theater complex called Tijoy and Aqua Park Shinagawa. That's where the aquarium is. So, we'll take a quick walk over there. Plus, it's uphill so I can get some exercise. These are the windows for Shinagawa Prince Hotel. Today is um, a three-day holiday. So there are more people out and about today with their families. Especially places like uh, the aquarium, you know? Families like the aquarium. This is a pretty cool aquarium actually. Huh, I don't really remember where the... Uh... Oh, there it is. It says Aqua Park Shinagawa. Please excuse my uh, lack of speaking. I'm walking uphill. It's a pretty steep climb. <laughs> and I'm trying to get breathless. So right here is the movie theater complex. They also have an IMAX theater. And the next door is Maxell Aqua Park Shinagawa. Oh boy. All right. So we're not really going to go to the aquarium today. So we'll start walking back. Where Satoshi is waiting for me. I think Satoshi is hot and bothered. I think I need to get him home as soon as possible. So we'll walk back, go into the station, and then uh, we'll check out the other side of uh, Shinagawa Station. Whoops. Thank you for waiting. Oh, look. Koko? Koko is Oh, he says this, this, this right here is a great uh, plane spotting spot. <laughs> what a beautiful sky. It's so beautiful today. Oh, they also have Outback Steakhouse here. So you can tell that this area was utilized by many uh, international business people. Okay. Okay. <sighs> you know, it is hot today, but uh, it's not too bad because uh, there's some wind. Yeah, although it is uh, 38 degrees Celsius today, but not, not bad, not so bad. I think the hottest day for me, temperature wise, today, uh, actually, yesterday was the hottest, but Temperature wise, um, when I went to Yanaka, it wasn't 38, it was more like 35, but it felt hotter because of the humidity. That was torture. But I know um, you guys enjoyed that video, so that's totally fine. It was all worth it. Okay, so we're gonna walk out of this uh, mall, this complex. Once again, the name of the park complex is Takanawa Wing. And this has always been here ever since I was a teenager, including this McDonald's. So this is a station, Shinagawa Station, in front of me. We're just gonna cross here to the other side. And uh, my, my apartment where I used to live, it was down that, this street down that way that's where Sengakuchi station is located wow the, the sound of the airplane is really loud here isn't it really loud much louder than like from our apartment ah okay he says well naturally because we're near Haneda airport that's why that's why they seem closer he's like Atarimai means of course duh <laughs> okay So, what do you think of the temperature today? It's hot. Hot? Pretty hot. But a little bit windy. Yeah. So it's better. Yeah, it's bearable, tolerable. Mm -hmm. And the humidity is less than yesterday. True. True. So, it's easy to walk. Yeah. We're about to enter Shinagawa Station. Shinagawa Station is actually 
um, very pleasant. Uh, personally, I like it. There are so many shops in here, um, inside the ticket turnstiles. There is practically a gigantic mall and there are many souvenirs you can buy, many restaurants, cafes, uh, stores. You can buy clothing, you can buy bento, you can buy like so many things. It's so cool. But we're not gonna go inside the tur ticket turnstiles. We're actually gonna stay out. And we're just going to walk to that side of the station. If you want to ride the train, you would turn right here. And this is where you would enter to hop onto your train. See, there are many, many stores inside. And if you had a Japan Rail Pass, this is, this is the office that you would get it at. It's called the Green Window or Midori no Madoguchi. Right here, or where you would buy your train tickets. And then it's like, what's over there in front of us? Well, you'll see. You guys will see in a moment. This place, I always think it kind of looks like an airport. I feel like I'm walking through an airport. What do you guys think? Oh, in case you were wondering, this yellow thing here, this is for those um, who have a, a sight impairment. So they would, uh, yeah, this would guide them safely to where they want to go. As you can see, it is a business hub and it's actually quite crowded today, quite crowded. On the screens on either side, they have a weather report, they have news, uh, like constantly running. Right now they have the weather forecast for the rest of today as well as tomorrow. Okay, so here we are at the uh, Shinkansen bullet train terminal. So this is where the bullet train departs. That's a Starbucks on the second floor. Doesn't this remind you of an airport? And this is where you would get onto your, your uh, Shinkansen. I really, really wish I could travel right now. Right now, I'm just, you know, I, I looked at the, uh, the gates to go into the Shinkansen. And since, you know, we're, we're discouraged um, going out of the city, it just makes me want to go out so badly. I haven't been out of Tokyo in ages. I know that Dean and DeLuca went bankrupt in uh, America, but here we still have Dean and DeLuca running. We have uh, multiple locations throughout Tokyo as well as throughout the country. I believe it's run by a different company. But yeah, this is Dean and DeLuca. It's a pretty big one. It's a nice one. Not as big as the New York one. You see, they have uh, their, their breads here. You have yummy bread and scones and they got their deli section. And they used to have a um, donut plant right here outside, but they no longer have it. And then right across from uh, Dine and Duluca, let me show you. It's one of my favorite places. Today I'm on a diet, so I'm not, I'm not gonna buy anything. But City Bakery, City Bakery from New York. This is the first branch of City Bakery that opened up in Tokyo. I especially love their chocolate chip cookies. City Bakery. Uh, as you guys are, um, as you guys probably already know, Satoshi's getting tired following me around. He's not moving. He's like way over there. So, I'm gonna say bye bye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm um, coming along on this once again random walk with me. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it a little bit interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.